What is up everybody? How are you guys doing today? And welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hello, welcome. Uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you like this video. Also, give it a thumbs up. And we are doing the 31 days of horror challenge. Ooh. <laughs> the first week we're starting out with 70s. Uh, if I don't have too many 70s, I'm gonna dive into the 80s a little bit, but uh, Today is a 1979, another one, just like yesterday's, which was Dev Ship. Uh, this one is a bit different though. It's the Driller Killer. Now the Driller Killer tells the story of an artist who is kind of low on paying his bills and they're starting to stack up and he can't quite get his paintings down to be the miraculous, you know, paintings that sell for lots of lots of money that he kind of needs and you know he has his roommates or his girlfriends or his roommates. Not quite sure how that figures into the story. He's pretty much freaked to insanity and goes on a killing spree. That's the movie. Now what is good in the Driller Killer? It does paint a decent picture of a gritty New York 70s type of feel. Sort of gives me that feeling of Death Wish, almost like how that movie was, painting New York in this kind of gritty, violent way in this kind of gritty, dirty kind of way. It does a really good job, at least as far as that. It does a good job. One of the scenes where there is a good death scene, uh, I'm not quite sure how it's done because this is the 70s and that was some really good special effects, I have to say. It involves a drill going to someone's forehead and it's done pretty well, I have to say. But the ending of this movie, I have to give them credit. And I know in horror, we talk a lot about should movies reveal everything or should they not reveal everything. And for this being like the late 70s and them sort of just having this blank ending, it was pretty, pretty ballsy, I have to say. At least I wasn't expecting that. On to what is bad about the Driller Killer. Very 70s. There's not a lot going on. It's very experimental. They're we'll take it. It's great. <laughs> there's scenes that just don't make any kind of sense with the story. It takes 35 minutes until we get to our first drill kill. 35 minutes. Keep in mind, you're sitting there watching for 35 minutes until we get to that part. There was something off throughout this movie, whether it was the directing or the editing or the acting. It felt like something very amateurish. And then I read afterwards that it was uh, Jimmy, who's the, the artist, uh, Abel Fiera, I think that's how you pronounce his name. It was actually his first movie, not only acting, well, first major movie acting, directing, writing, and editing, I believe. He did all of that. And you can really tell that it's not done by someone professionally. Finished yet, Mr. Mott? Almost, we need another week. It's finished. I mean, there's some decent drill kills, but they kind of come repetitive and there's really only like maybe three standout kills amongst the rest of them. Uh, the characters don't really make much sense. You don't care for any of them, except for maybe I would say the girlfriend you care about because she's kind of in this terrible situation of having this crazy artist boyfriend who is not helping pay anything and she's paying everything. I'm gonna give it a two out of 10 because at least the, the one drill kill was pretty cool and the urban New York area, the, the 70s gritty kind of New York area was was in there pretty well and I like the main girlfriend. Uh, I wish we kind of seen a little bit more from her at least more later towards the end. If you've seen the Driller Killer, the video nasty ban in London for many many years, what did you think about the Driller Killer? It's streaming on TUBITV. 
like I said, all of the titles from 31 Days of October will be streamed off that. So it's free. Make them an account. You can watch these movies as well. Leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, come back tomorrow for another video. Oh, uh, man. And uh, <laughs> that, that is it. Adios. Good night. Zzz, zzz, out.